Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be starting a little mini series based on a challenge I found on Tumblr. The challenge is called the Autumn Core Challenge and this challenge is by, I think it's Caddy Sims. I will be linking her Tumblr post down below in the description. So this is our Sim, this is Evan Spencer and I am already so in love with her. She is absolutely gorgeous and I think she is going to be perfect for this challenge. So speaking of the challenge, let's talk a little bit about the main objectives and where I may have already deviated just a tiny bit. The main goal is really to celebrate fall in all of its glory. So most of the activities will be very fall, very cozy, and I think that's amazing. Our aspiration is going to be best-selling author and that does have to be completed as part of the challenge. You're also supposed to attend university for a language and literature degree, but we already have Harper at university, so I did decide to cheat that and start her with a degree as well as some skills. Our traits are bookworm creative, and I chose a foodie trait as our free trait. So according to the challenge description, our sims likes are rain, baking, sweaters, candles, baths, movies, reading, cafes, and lo-fi or lo-fi music, which I was not familiar with before I started looking into this challenge. I know what it is now, but I did decide that our favorite musical genre is going to be jazz because that always feels very moody and cozy to me, and I think that's going to fit with our autumn vibe. Our main skills are going to be writing and baking, and we're also allowed to have a bakery, so that's actually where we're going to live. We are using a mod by Little Miss Sam that allows us to have a business within our residence. The lot we're using is actually by Bojana Sims here on YouTube. You'll see more of the lot in just a few minutes. Um, it was a flower shop that I turned into a bakery, and I have redecorated all of the interior just to give it a little bit more of an autumn vibe. Our main objectives for the challenge are to master the baking skill, own a four-star bakery. That one is optional, which is a good thing because I'm pretty sure we can't actually do that using the mod that we're using. We also have to publish three successful books, finish reading four books, become companions with your dog. So another FYI here, it actually calls for a cat, but I am way um, more of a dog person. Plus, I thought that walking the dog in fall in Brindleton Bay was going to be such a nice vibe. We also have to drink at least one cup of coffee a day. I'm including tea here. And then we also have to have a three sim friend group. We'll also need to go to a cafe at least once a week, get gold in a spooky day party, go to a pumpkin patch, carve pumpkins, go to the haunted house in Copperdale, befriend a ghost, play in a leaf pile, watch Sims of the Dead, stay the night in a haunted house residential, have a picnic, and go skating with a partner. So in addition to the challenge rules, I also would like to incorporate some wellness and self-care. And I also thought that this would be a really good opportunity for me to figure out how easy it is to self-discover the vegetarian trait. So we're going to be trying to self-discover that trait throughout our gameplay. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything that I needed to cover off the top. Um, as you can see, it's a Saturday evening. It's 8.42 p.m. So um, Evan here has been in for pretty much most of the day. She did go out a little bit earlier so that she could do some grocery shopping. I'll let her keep reading her book while I show you around just a tiny bit. Let me start by showing you Maple. Hopefully she's not doing something weird. All right, so yeah, she's sleeping here on the floor in a very strange on the back kind of way. Actually, I guess it's not that strange. My dog is doing the same thing right now. Um, I believe that Maple might be um, an Aussie Doodle. I, I feel like she's just giving me Aussie Doodle vibes because she looks very similar to my dog who is an Aussie Doodle. So I'm thinking that that is what Maple is, but that's Maple. Um, I'll do a little bit of a quick view of our home along with where we're living. So we are living in what I believe is the Whiskerman's, uh oh, the Whiskerman's Wharf area of Brindleton Bay, which is this um, pier area. So it's where the docks are. Um, I actually really, really love this area. I've never been able to live here. So I'm kind of excited about trying that out and seeing how that is. Um, you'll definitely see more of our lot 
as we play but I did want to show you just really quickly the bakery so here's the front of our home as you can see we've got two entrances this is the entrance to the bakery the bakery is here and then the rest of the lot is our home it is I believe two or three stories two three stories so we've got um, an office upstairs and a spare bedroom. We've also got this top area, which I'm thinking might be more storage. We don't have anything up there just yet. But looking at the bakery, um, here's what the bakery looks like. So the cool thing about the mod that we're using is that it allows us to have a retail shop without all of the headache of spending hours communicating with Sims just to get them to buy something. So what the mod actually allows us to do, as long as we have items for sale, so I can bake all of the items that I want to, put them here in our refrigerated case, and then set those items for sale. When I open our bakery, then customers will just come in, they will self-serve, they will give us simoleons, and we won't have to spend a bunch of time um, communicating. So I'm actually really excited about that. We will probably not be doing anything with that in this episode, but I think in the next episode, we will explore the um, bakery a little bit. I think in between episodes, I'll do a lot of the baking to fill up our case. All right, so it's almost 10 p.m. It looks like we're still reading. I was hoping that we could check off our first of four books that we need to read in order to um, satisfy the challenge requirements, but it does not look like we're going to be able to do that. She's actually really hungry, um, and I would like her to eat before it starts to get too late. So I think what we'll do is, well, I'll give her until 10.30 to finish that up. So while she's doing that, a couple of lot challenges that we have on, we do have the simple living lot challenge on. I pretty much do that in all of my builds or all of my um, saves. It just makes so much more sense for realism purposes. And another one that I'm going to start using more is the for rent one that allows for mechanical failures and other things around your home. So I do have that on as well. Haven't really played around with that much since for rent. So we'll see how that works out. All right, so it is now after 10.30, she is still reading. I feel like she's been reading this book for like two to three hours. So we'll go ahead and stop reading that. What I want her to do is come on in here and prepare some dinner. So where we'll start, I think we will do, um, let's boil that kettle. And then I'm not sure about y'all, but for me, when it is fall, it's starting to get cooler outside, I eat a lot of soup. So I think we'll go with soup for dinner. So let's go dinner and then soups and salads and we'll see what our options are. So as far as soup is concerned, we've got um, grilled cheese and tomato soup, which is a personal favorite. We also have mushroom soup. We've got pumpkin soup. Um, spicy mushroom soup and tomato soup. Let's go with the, let's go with tomato soup. That is such a fall staple. So I'll let her go ahead and get started on that. And then one of the other things I want her to do is use that healthy living app that I'm sure I have covered before in another one of my videos. I want her to get some food from there. I think that would be super helpful. Alright, so we finished our tomato soup and I think our kettle is ready. So let's make some tea and let's go with a calming chamomile. I think that's a good option for this late in the evening. And once she's done that, I think I'll take that tea because I don't know if anyone else is having this issue. They refuse now all of a sudden to drink and eat at the same time. Only if I am getting um, something from the kettle and it seems like they're for whatever reason just not able to multitask. Um, they can't do more than one thing. So I think I'll have her, let's turn on some music. Let us turn on some jazz. She can listen to a little bit of light jazz while she is eating. 
And while she's doing that, let me go ahead and get her set up. So we'll do our soup here and then we'll do our tea and then I'll have her come and sit here. All right, so let's eat our soup and let's drink our tea while we're listening to our music. Um, so another thing to talk about while she's doing that, I did kind of curate a very fall themed wardrobe. It said in the challenge that she really likes sweaters. So we've got lots of sweaters, lots of sweater dresses, um, lots of really, I would say cozy um, fall colored items for sure. I did go a lot um, maybe a little bit overboard with the fall color. So lots of browns and oranges and um, greens in her wardrobe. So let her finish that up. One other thing that we're probably going to get into, most likely tomorrow in game is going to be um, the Cupid's Corner app. I haven't really had a Sim use that app at all since we I can't believe she is going to do this one item at a time. But I haven't had a sim use that item at all since we got that pack. So I really want to give that a go, see if she can't find a romantic partner, but also because she needs to have um, a three sim friend group, that might be a really good way for us to meet some other sims. Let's go ahead and put this away as well. And then where is Maple? Maple is hanging out with what appears to be maybe not a stray cat. I don't know, but that's where she's hanging out. All right, so we're putting that soup away. I'm going to have her come in here and have a seat in the living room so that we can place that order for those items that I was talking about. So let's sit here. And then what does she want to do? Oh, I have these two saved. So she wants to write an excellent book. She also wants to write a nonfiction book. So we'll do both of those things. And then she wants to pet um, Maple. So we'll probably try to do that as well. So I believe that I can actually access this app or the hub directly from the sim. So let's go into the healthy living hub. And I will have this linked um, in the resources post of my Tumblr along with the Little Miss Sam mod that we're using and all the other main resources from the post or from the video. So let's start by signing up for a Simwell Health Club membership because we will not be able to go to the spa or the gym at all unless we do that. Alright, so it says Simwell Health Club is an elite collection of fitness and wellness health clubs, all dedicated to healthy living. We offer top tier classes, excuse me, and programs for the whole family with a focus on physical and mental fitness and whole body wellness. We're here on your journey to healthier living. Click one of the options below to learn more about monthly memberships or a single day membership. So I think we are going to go with the premier membership because if I'm remembering correctly, the premier membership um, allows us to go to any spa or gym anywhere as opposed to only being able to go to spas and gyms here in Remington Bay. So let's go with the premier membership. All right, and this says, we hope you enjoy your premier membership. Premier membership allows access to all similar health gyms, spas, and health clubs, as well as a deep discount when shopping with our exclusive partners, as well as through our health app, our health shop. All right, so I think we are gonna go ahead and do the individual premier membership. It does not look like she is going to be in a family anytime soon. So that is 250 simoleons. And then after she does that, it does say that we've got our membership card and our inventory, and we do, it is right here. So once you've got that membership card, you can actually use it to go into the hub as opposed to clicking directly on the sim. All right, so now that we have done that, let's go back into that hub. And I think we are now gonna go to the Sage Carrot Healthy Meal Service. All right, so it says here, 
Here at the Sage Carrot Health Foods Company, we take nutrition seriously. We offer a variety of healthy, nutritious meal plans to fit your lifestyle. To begin the order process, please choose how you would like to receive your healthy meals. Okay, so we can't do the meal kit subscription service because I'm doing that in some of my personal gameplay and you don't have the option to choose um, vegetarian only. So I think we will do the a la carte. All right, and we'll probably just grab a few items. She's going to do a lot of cooking as well because I want her to continue to work on her cooking skill. But for those on the go moments, I think it'll be a good idea for her to have um, some faster options. All right, so let's grab, um, oh wait, let's switch over here to vegetarian. All right, let's grab the baked potato with orange salad. Um, banana or berry banana smoothie bowl, berry chia pudding, um, egg muffin bites, fruit and whole grain bagel, enoki mushroom poke bowl. Let's get a few of those. Fresh fruit medley. That seems like something we will use a lot. Fried egg with avocado salad, fruity oatmeal, penne with fresh tomato sauce. Um, Roasted garden vegetables with rice. Roasted sweet potato salad. That sounds disgusting, but maybe she likes it. Uh, roasted tomato basil orzo. Smoothie bowl. Spinach noodle bowl. Stir fried carrot noodles with broccoli. And then I will leave the tofu. So we got 59 um, options in our cart right now are items for 708 simoleons and I want to slide over here to the smoothies so let's grab a couple of these carrot banana smoothies the dark cherry celery smoothie sounds actually quite gross um, grape kale smoothie grapefruit ginger smoothie that sounds amazing and then we've got green superfood smoothie and kiwi spinach smoothie so I'm up to 80 items and it is 996 simoleons total so let's go ahead and commit to that and so all of the items are going to show up here in our personal inventory i will move those over to the um, refrigerator probably once she is in bed so let's go in here one more time and then i want to pop down to the simlo health club store and there's some um protein meal shakes that I do want to grab. They also have some weight loss supplements and like protein supplements if you're trying to add bulk. All of your exercise equipment is going to be in here as well. Your yoga mats, meditation stools, I think fitness equipment, soccer balls, footballs, um, what's this one? Smart scales, um, the SimFit watches, and then supplements. So I do want to try out a SimFit watch. Let's go with this black one. I've never actually tried this in any of my gameplay. And then as far as supplements are concerned, it's just for weight loss or I guess protein and we don't need either of those. So we're just gonna grab these two items for an additional 400 simoleons. Most of that is probably that watch. And then I think both of those items are here in our inventory as well. So it is now 1.05 a.m. We have a lot to do tomorrow. So I don't want her to spend too much time up. Looks like Maple is afraid of the stereo. Let's turn that off. Music, stop playing music. It also looks like her food bowl is empty. So let's fill that. And then I'll have her come in here. And does she need to use the restroom? Maybe a tiny bit. So we'll use the restroom. We will wash our hands. And then I'll have her brush her teeth. And then I don't think we turned on our thermostat. So I'll probably have her do that also. Let's set that to warmer. It is a pretty cool night out. Um, and it looks like Maple is going to sleep or maybe not. All right, so once she has done those things, I think I also want her to come and light the fire in her bedroom, which would normally be an incredibly unsafe thing to do this late into the evening, especially if you're going to be sleeping and it's not gonna be attended, but um, it's The Sims, so we're gonna do it anyway. All right, 
now she wants to cook pet food so that's probably something that's going to have to wait for another day i also realized we don't have any meat in our home so if we are going to cook pet food then we probably will need to do something about that all right so let's auto light everything all all lights and then i noticed something different okay so i downloaded a mod probably a couple of days ago that changed the lights but i don't know how it works so I'll have to play with that um, on my own time. All right, she's all ready for bed. It is now 2 a.m. Let's set an alarm. Um, we will do a specific time. Let's do 8 a.m. on the dot every day. And then I will have her go ahead and come over here so that she can sleep until the alarm rings. And I will see you all in the morning. So it is 8 a.m. Evan is now awake. Looks like she is bright eyed and bushy tailed. So today is self care Sunday on self care Sunday, which I believe I will um, have every Sunday as long as we are doing this challenge. We are required to do a yoga routine. We also need to get a massage from a massage therapist. We need to meditate. We need to watch a movie and we need to have some tea. So let's have a look at our needs looks like we're doing actually quite well so i think where i'll have her start this morning is we'll come right over here and let's do um an athletic outfit let's switch into the shorts and the sweatshirt and then i think what i'll have her do before we even leave home is we will go ahead and do our morning meditation and i love the fact that we're going to be doing this uh excuse me maple i love the fact that we're going to be doing this here um it's a nice rainy day looks like things are nice and quiet here so let's do a short meditation so she's looking very peaceful and serene she's got a little bit of rain kind of pitter pattering in the background i imagine she's probably thinking about what she's got going on for the day as well as for the week just trying to center herself before she does a little bit of writing today um i honestly have never meditated so <laughs> i cannot speak to the benefits but i'm sure there are many i also did give her a little bit of wellness skills so she's got like wellness level three or four which um, I think is reasonable for a sim that has already gone through uni and has had a little bit of life experience. So I think after this, we'll probably head over to the gym slash spa. She will do her yoga class and then we will get a massage. And then probably later this afternoon, we will do some writing. I would also like her to hop into Cupid's Corner and um see if we can find any dates which i'm kind of really excited about because i've never done that before so let her finish up her meditation in peace and then i will see you all on the other side all right so she's finished her meditation i think i'll have her just come and have a seat here and then before we leave because we might need a little bit of time to like build up some sort of relationship. Let's go into our phone and let's pull up Cupid's Corner. Open Cupid's Corner. And let's see if we can find someone interesting. Okay, so um, Evan is romantically attracted to women. She is interested in woohoo with women only. Um, she is only looking for a young adult. Um, partners and we are describing ourselves as creative and a bookworm so let's take a look at some matches all right so we've got Margot. she is good and cheerful she is a gallery sim and she is created by bejeweling we'll go ahead and save her and then um, Jill looks like a randomly generated townie Rory we know is that werewolf sim um, I'm not interested in any occults. Valerie, I believe, comes from the gallery. I think she's getting pulled in 
by MC Command Center. She loves the outdoors and is jealous, not really feeling that, so we will skip Valerie. Um, Elizabeth looks like a randomly generated townie. So does Brandy. And then Emma. So Emma we know. Emma is um, a friend of Harper's in our Discover University save. I do believe that this save is a copy of that one. I'm fairly certain that that's what I did. So Emma is probably still a student here. I wonder why we only know. Oh, okay. She's a maker and good. We'll save Emma. And then let's refresh our matches. All right, so Annette is absolutely randomly generated. And then Camille, I feel like Camille is, is she from San Sequoia? I could be completely wrong there. She is romantic and a cat lover. Um, I think we're gonna pass on Camille. And then this is, is it Ulrike? I know she's from Windenburg. I'm gonna pass on her to creative art lover. Um, and then we've got Allison. I don't know where Allison is from. She's a child of the village and she's non-committal. That is probably not going to work, but she could be a fun friend. So let's save her. And then we've got Tony, who is a fashion show model and a genius. So that tells me that Tony is a randomly generated townie because that is a, um, a custom trait. We'll go ahead and save Tony though. And then, okay, Yoonji. I hope that is how that is pronounced and that I'm pronouncing it correctly. I believe she is also a gallery sim that's being pulled in. She is clumsy and generous. We will save her. And then last one is definitely randomly generated gassy dancer so we are going to pass on her let's look at our saved options and i think we're just going to add all of these sims to our contacts um let's add allison remain numbers to interact with today um let me make sure that i add the ones that i like because okay i can only add three to contacts so i'm glad that i did that um switch over because i kind of want to meet Yoonji and I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing her name correctly. If I'm not, please let me know in the comments how I should be pronouncing it. She looks like she might be a bit of a partier. She's got her party cup here. So I'm really interested in getting to know her. All right, so let's close this. And then um, it shows that we are very attracted to Margot. We don't have anything with Yoonji but we have bad compatibility with Allison. So that is good to know. All right, so now I think we'll just go ahead and text um, Yunji and then we'll text Margo. Let's just text everyone. And I think I would like her to maybe go out for drinks later with Yunji. Um, she's really pretty. So I think I would like her to text her later and see if maybe she wants to meet up for drinks. So now that we have gotten that out of the way, I do want her, it's a little after 10 um, and we do still have to go over to the spa. So I'm looking for, all right, there is the dog. We want to be friendly with Maple. So let's do that really quickly. Let's um, offer friendship, I think. Maybe let's just give her a treat. I think that that usually is a really effective way to um, get that friendship going. Evan just became friends with Maple. Okay, I thought that would work. And now she wants to pet her. So let's go ahead and let's pet Maple. Maple is soaking wet from being outside in the rain. All right, and now we are back to wanting to make pet food. So that we will have to save for later. For now, I think we will go ahead and head out to the gym slash spa. All right, so we are here at the Brindleton Bay Spa has um, pretty much everything that we need to finish this up. One of the things that I'm realizing though, is that we don't have, um, we haven't satisfied the meditation or the meditate 
um, task for today and we absolutely did that so I'm gonna go ahead and give us that um, and then I'm going to head upstairs so this is where the yoga area is but what I am noticing is that we do not have a yoga instructor I think she went downstairs I'm not sure if it's like a shift change or if she got distracted doing something else but oh, she's just down here hanging out um, ma'am ma'am I okay so hopefully she plans on coming upstairs so one of the things that I will say about this lot while we're waiting and I hope that I don't have to go back downstairs to ask her to do a yoga class one of the things that I'll say it has a lot of really cool things so over here we've got the massage table we've got some massage chairs we do have um, a meditation stool in its own like little private room which is really cool oh there she is she's back We've got a sauna and some treadmills. One of the things that kind of frustrates me though is that the yoga studio is right in the middle of the way to get from this side of the spa to this side of the spa. So people are constantly walking by to use the treadmills or the sauna and I don't know about y'all but that does not seem like a very peaceful and serene um, yoga environment. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and ask her to start a yoga class. Let's do a mind concentrating yoga class. All right, so we keep choosing to be in the front, which is really unfortunate because that means that if I try to get close up on her while she is, um, doing her yoga routine there will always be sims as you can see <laughs> just walking back and forth in front of us which is just not ideal at all but we do have a couple of other attendees so that's nice um one of them just teleported out of the room like immediately so i wish that i could lock this door um i can't actually so I think I will do that. Let's lock for everyone. And then these people that were already coming in will still come in, but then no one else will be able to. So at least this way, while she is doing her routine, no one else will be able to interrupt us. Invite to you and join yoga class. Why don't you join us, buddy, if you're gonna be standing here? Why can't you? There's three more free um, yoga mats. Well, in that case, you've got to leave because you can't just stand in front of us like that. So let's make him leave and then let's unlock this door so that he can do so. Can you please go? Oh my God, get out. MC Command Center, MC Cheats makes him leave. Okay. And you too, because you are not getting ready to do that in here. MC Cheats makes them leave. Okay. I did unlock this, did I not? I did. Why are why is no one moving? Alright, she's leaving. He is refusing. MC Cheats. You said Sim. Now will you leave? MC Cheats makes them leave. Okay. All right, so he has left. We're gonna lock this door, lock for everyone, and then we're also gonna lock this door, lock for everyone. Sometimes the stuff that you have to go to or go through just to get like pretty pictures in this game is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna let her do her yoga routine. I'm gonna try not to bother her too much um, this is self-care Sunday after all, so she's trying to, um, relax and get refreshed for the upcoming week. Also, she's ridiculously cute and I love her hair. <laughs> I'm so excited that I was finally able to use this one. So her haircut comes with the, um... What is the new pack called that we just got? Love, Love Struck. 
the love struck pack that's where her hair came from the first time i saw it it absolutely gave me like halle berry 90s vibes like the boomerang era and i was super excited so i'm so happy that i was able to find a sim that the haircut fit really well on um so yay evan all right, so I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let her finish this up. And then I think afterwards, we will probably run over to the massage table. Hopefully no one is over there because we do just have one on this whole lot. So someone's getting a massage right now. Monica is getting a massage and I will make sure that we get to go next. And then I'll unlock these doors so that everyone can get out. Is she done? Yep. Okay, so this is the second thing that didn't tick off. So we did a yoga routine. It says, um, click on the yoga mat and select do routine. So maybe because we didn't click on the yoga mat and instead we took a class, that's why. But I'm gonna give us that one too. It's not fair. All right, I don't know who he is or why he's talking to me, but I do wanna see, okay, perfect. Perfect timing, she just finished. So let's do, wait, why can't I get a massage? Get a massage, there we go. Aromatherapy, let's do a mint and rosemary aromatherapy massage from Minerva Charm. I forgot to unlock those doors though, so let me do that really quickly. Um, unlock and unlock, there we go. All right, so hopefully we will stop talking to this guy and she will go and get that massage before someone else ends up in there. Where is Minerva? Oh, we're coming in here to talk to her. She's coming in here to talk to us. All right, so we're gonna go get our massage. Very exciting. Um, there's some other stuff in here as well. There's also, um, like the mud bath you are not going to be in here doing this while i am massaging i think she's from the new pack also i have to stop saying new pack because we're getting a new new pack in just like another week i think like next week sometime for halloween i'm recording this on a tuesday so next thursday i believe is when we get the new pack This actually looks really relaxing. So in all the time I have been playing The Sims, I have never actually noticed the aromatherapy massage options before now. So I'm glad that I was actually paying attention because a rosemary and mint massage sounds amazing. And also that did satisfy the requirement on our um, little holiday tracker. So we're doing well there. The only things that we still have to do are watch a movie and have some tea. And I do think that noise is actually really gross. I do think we will go to um, a cafe to do a little bit of writing. And while we're doing that, we'll do, we'll have some tea. I just wanted to listen to that sound a little bit it actually isn't bad it's a little gross when they're squirting the massage oil but otherwise okay all right so we are all finished with that I think I will have her head downstairs so that we can take a shower because we smell awful um and I believe okay is it here no there's no basement here so it is here all right, so let's come on in here. She also needs to use the restroom a tiny bit. So let's use the restroom. Where is the restroom in here? It's here. Um, let's use that restroom and then let's hop in the shower. Hopefully the sim will leave and will not still be standing here by the time we get downstairs. So she is centered and focused from that yoga class. The art of yoga brings focus to those wandering thoughts in the mind. She is also uncomfortable because she is smelly. 
definitely some dirt buildup occurring, it says. And then she is energetic from her massage. It says if it would stop disappearing, um, hints of mint and aromatic rosemary has energetically moved from the nasal cavity to the muscles. Where are you going? I absolutely told you to go to this shower right here. Or maybe that's not the shower for this room. This is the shower for this room. So that's my bad. Take a speedy shower. You are absolutely standing in the man's locker room. So then after you take that shower, then I'll have her get dressed and then um, we'll go ahead and head over to that cafe. Speed through this a little bit. This is not the speediest of showers for sure. Um, she was extra smelly though, so maybe that's the reason why it's taking a little bit of time. It's now almost 3.30 in the afternoon, so depending on how much time she's going to spend writing, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do everything on our list. I want to, but I'm not sure it's going to work out. Alright, so she's finished with that. Um, are you going to put on some clothes, ma'am? you're just standing there naked where's your towel there we go all right so let's change your outfit into our first everyday outfit and then i'm wondering if there's anyone around here that we might want to introduce ourselves to i'm not sure there is so now that she's dressed she's got on her eventually there we go she's got on her everyday outfit so like i said there will be lots of sweaters i think this is a cute little get up we're going to head on over to the cafe so that she can have some tea and do a little bit of writing all right so we've made it here um to the cafe i think i will have her start by getting something to eat because she is looking a little bit hungry so let's order food and then let's grab light bites let's do um let's see french toast there's crumpets there's eggs and toast um grilled cheese scramble oh, we can't have that let's just do the french toast for nine simoleons and so one of the issues that i have been having recently with my game which i shouldn't be having because i do have a mod that's supposed to block this is that when i show up at a cafe every sim in the world shows up at that cafe and they all start trying to order something at the same time that i'm ordering it it does not appear to be happening right now but it seems like every time i'm ordering a drink especially that will happen and then the barista will keep forgetting my order and I'll have to keep requesting it over and over again. So that has not been very fun. Um, I'll have her finish eating this, and then when she's done with that, I'll go ahead and order that tea and then head upstairs so that she can write in a little bit more of a quiet environment. Um, this sim, I swear to you, is pregnant in every single save of mine. I'm wondering what the situation is there, like, even if it's not like a, a repeat save or a save that I'm just cloning, um, she's always pregnant as well as that one sim from Copperdale, um, the one that works in the cafeteria. She is also always pregnant. I don't know what the game is trying to tell us. All right, let's finish this up, please, ma'am. Now a stranger is coming to sit with you. This is on you. You created this problem for yourself. Is she from what pack is she from? Um, I don't know where that family is from, but I do know that they are, um, existing townies in the game. All right, so as I thought, now there's just a whole little gang of sins piling up over here. Um, I'm going to stop everyone else from coming over here. This is a very exhausting process, but I'm just going to keep blocking new um customers so that i can get my tea the one downside is that um 
for her aspiration and I'll show you in just a second for her aspiration she does want to write while inspired for an hour but I'm not sure that I would be able to do that on the go because she's not currently inspired so let me um, I wonder if there's anything I could buy that would make her inspired I know we have those lamps but I don't know that they work as well as I would like them to all right so after she does this guy's order I'm gonna order some tea order drink to go let's do a matcha tea and Hector I think he's related to that other sim that we just saw I cannot for the life of me remember where those sims live Am I going to get that tea, ma'am? Oh, I didn't order it yet. I haven't even gotten up. I'm being so impatient today. All right. Should be me next. Unless this guy was just doing something. I don't know what he was doing. She's walking like she might be pregnant. But she doesn't look pregnant. And they usually don't get that walk until they're pretty far along. So I don't know. All right. That's mine. Cool. So let's head upstairs with our tea. And I did prepare a little area here with only one chair so that no one else will try to sit with us while we're writing. I feel like that's more of a solo thing. I also want to see if I can find something for inspiration. So let me just type in and it's gonna take forever to do the second letter. I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but I'm going to type in inspired and see what comes up. I know about the lamps, but I don't know about anything else besides the occasional painting. Um, hello? Hello, there we go. In Inspired. All right, let's see what our options are. If nothing comes up, I'll just go with the lamp. Okay, great. So nothing is coming up. Nice. Let's go ahead and go to lighting. And then I think it's a table lamp. And they're shaped like plum bobs. These don't do anything, do they? I don't think so. So this should be the inspired one, right? So let's grab that and let's put it here on this table, put it on this side. And then let's have her come up here and have a seat. Let's sit there in that chair and then I'll grab her laptop for her. So let's pull this laptop out. And then I do want to enable emotional aura and see if we are able to get an inspired mood lit somewhere in there so that we can um, satisfy that one part of our aspiration. So it says here, write for an hour while inspired. Not sure if I said that already. All right, so we do have it, but we have all this other stuff ahead of it. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these items and see what we need to do all right there we go all right so i got rid of everything and now we are inspired she wants to write a non-fiction book so i'm gonna go to write and then write genre book non-fiction and then maybe we can get through an hour and tick off um this option from our or this requirement from our aspiration so we are a fledged linguist on the best-selling author aspiration. Name the book, The Fox of Park Avenue. Yep. So I guess that's meant to be like the Wolf of Wall Street. Love it. All right, so she's having her tea and she is doing a little bit of writing. So we did um, satisfy the tea task on our list of things to do. The only thing that we have left that we need to work on is the movie, which... I'm not sure how much time she's going to have to do that tonight before we try and meet up with um, the sim that we met and have a drink. Um, let's see. We are feeling inspired. I did that. Feeling great from high needs. A well cared for sim is a happy sim. 
um, delicious dish from eating food, a very satisfying meal. I'll be full for a while. And then I love writing from liking writing. Evan is in her element. And because she is doing something she prefers, she gains increased, she gains increased her fun. What? And because she is doing something she prefers, she gains increased her fun. All right. That's not that's not me. That's what it says. And then lingering flavor from drinking coffee. Why does Evan feel so alert yet calm? Probably the L-tiamine amino acid found in matcha. And then fast internet. All right. So what I would like her to do is get to the halfway point. And it looks like there's a chance that we might get to level up in our writing skill. So I'm just going to speed through this. I don't think that we should ever be like sitting down and writing an entire book in one sitting, but I do like the idea of us writing like half and half. We might try and write um, like half a book every episode until we finish up. I think that's reasonable because I don't want, I mean, I definitely want it to be a mini series, but I don't want it to be too short. All right. So we have now officially written for an hour while inspired. So we just need to write two books in order to get to the next section of bestselling author. And then we have reached writing level seven, says Evan can now write fantasy. She can now enthuse about iambic pentameter with other Sims, which just sounds super exciting. All right. So let's see how many books do we actually have to write? in order to complete this aspiration. Um, write five good books is the next level. Oh, we have lots of books to write. Write five excellent books is level um, three. And then to complete level four, we have to just achieve level 10 writing, have earned 25,000 simoleons and royalties from publishing books and complete three bestsellers. Okay, so we have lots of books to write. So maybe, after this episode, we will go for one book per episode because we've got to write a lot of books. I'm glad I looked at that because I was planning on pacing that out a lot more than we can really afford to do. All right, it is now uh, 7, 16 p.m. That means we are going to go on our little getting to know you date before we go back home to try and watch a movie. If anything, we may not get to the movie. We'll see, but she already looks like she had a really good holiday. So if she isn't able to watch the movie, I won't worry about it too much. All right, so we're at the halfway point. I'll have her stop that. And then I will have her put this laptop back in her inventory and we will head home so that we can get changed. And then we will invite um, I am going to keep pronouncing it as Yunji, um, but y'all let me know, like I said, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, we're going to invite her out and we're going to grab a drink to see if we can get to know her a little bit better. All right, we are home. Let's head inside. Her uh, needs are excellent. She is doing really, really well there. I think what I will have her do is just come in here and change. Um, we have two outfits that I think might be cute for a date. And then we've got this one that's um, formal. Let's go with this top one. Just kind of keep going in order until we have to go out of order. And then I will have her come in here and brush her teeth because she's going to be going on a date. You definitely want to make sure you have minty fresh breath. All right. So this is actually a really cute dress. I think she's going to look really nice and still very fall themed. I love the boots and the belt. This is a really cute look. All right, so before we leave, let's pay a little bit of attention to our, our puppy. Let's play with Maple. Not for too long because it is after eight. I didn't pay attention to this bag. It looks like it has an inventory, so that's good to know. Yeah, I think they're gonna become companions before we know it. I don't know how long it takes, like if it's some sort of um, number of days or like number of interactions, but I guess we'll have to figure it out and see. Is this door locked? It is not. Lock four. 
everyone but household members. We've got a little herb garden back here that I haven't looked at today. Looks like it's doing all right though. Maybe? Uh, yeah, looks like it's fine. All right, so we played it with the dog. Just wanna make sure that she doesn't run away because we cannot afford that in this um, little let's play. So now that we've done that, let's head on over. I think we're gonna go to San Maishuno with Yunji and we are going to have some drinks. All right, it is dark out, but we are here and Yunji is actually really pretty and I have not done anything with her. Um, if things work out, I absolutely will give her a makeover, but for now, I think she's super cute. So what I would like to do is have them both come in here and have a seat at the bar and we will have a drink, talk to her for a little bit, see if we hit it off so let's do um seat sims here and then let's do why can't i wait okay that's fine i'll sit her there and then i will sit in this chair oh it's raining is bella pregnant too everyone is pregnant in this safe Still think she looks so ridiculously cute. Yeah, she is pregnant. All right, so um, let's start by ordering her a drink. Order drink. Order drink for Yuji, and we'll see what her tastes are. And now we're having a conversation. So let's um. Let's get to know her. Deep thoughts, get to know. And then, oh, she's classy. Her favorite drink is red wine. Love that for her. All right, so I'm gonna order a drink for myself. Order drink, and then, oh, she's a child of the ocean. Is she a mermaid? Um, do I want a apple martini? There was a stretch of time in my life where my absolute favorite drink was a cosmopolitan. Maybe for old time's sake, I'll grab that Cosmopolitan. 85 simoleons, my goodness. All right, I'm telling some sort of ridiculous story. All right, so I'm feeling flirty. I don't know if that means that I am like physically attracted to her, but let's keep chatting. Um, can we compliment her personality? Let's compliment, complain about self care. I don't wanna complain. A compliment. Let's compliment her outfit. I do think she is dressed very nice. I am a huge fan of the pink. Alright, so we'll have our drink. We'll continue chatting. I'm going to assume the fact that we're feeling flirty is because we are interested in her in some capacity. Um, let's get to know her a little bit more. Can we continue to do that? Deep thoughts. Give relationship advice. I just met her. Hopefully her only relationship will be with me. Affection. Express admiration. Let's do it. Are we friends already? Make a new friend. We are. That happens super fast. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. I think she likes her. All right, let's see where this thing can go. Look at how high up our friendship meter is. So let's flirt. Let's just flirt. Let's do it. Romance. Flirtation. We just became good friends. Oh yeah, she likes me too. All right, so we are going to flirt. Now that we've had our drinks, I am not going to um, buy her another drink just yet. I want to see if she likes me. We didn't flirt. Why didn't we flirt? Who is this random person who keeps coming over here to grab all of my beverages? Romance, flirtation. Please flirt with her. It's very important to me that you do so. All right, what's happening over here? Acquired the comedy skill. Okay. And what's that? Caregiver personality archetype hint. Probably because she is a generous sim order her to clean why would i do that relationship we don't have a relationship yet let's romance flirt um we have 
Let's compliment her appearance. I do think she's super pretty. Listen to her question. Yes, love your outfit. You look really, really pretty. All right, now let's do flirtation. Let's exchange numbers. Is that option now gone? Her voice is a little annoying, I won't lie to you. All right, let's do this. Let's exchange numbers. Are you gonna do it? There we go. All right, let's see how you handle this, Yunji. Why does it seem like every sim always mirrors my same phone case around the world? Is that like a glitch of some sort where they don't have their own individualism? Invite to lie on lap, ask to be woo partners. You are a wild girl. Um, flirtation, let's just flirt with her a little bit more. Ooh, let's blow her a kiss. Cute. All right, suggestive conversation. Yes, we are having a suggestive, a suggestive, I can't talk, I'm so excited. Conversation, share deeply personal thoughts. It's not something you would do with a person that you just met. Um, let's, can we do a pickup line? Pickup line, let's do it. Oh, okay, it is getting hot in here. Titillizing banner, titillating banner. Koi smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance. And then she's ready for some action. Okay, all right. Well, I think it is now 11 p.m. There's still a chance that we might be able to do, oh, let's confess attraction. We might still be able to knock out that movie. So let me have her um, confess attraction and then we'll, we'll embrace her. We'll give her a good hug. A romantic satisfaction begins because I confessed attraction. Evan and Yunji have a strong romantic relationship and will now eat and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. Okay, well, good to know. That happened a lot faster, so we did like each other. I kind of could tell like when she got flirty, like immediately when she sat with her. Let's give her a hug goodbye. It is a little after 11.30. We run the chance of still being able to do this movie night. Um, new romance dynamic steamy. It's awfully warm in here and Evelyn and you and Evan and UG can't seem to keep their hands off each other. They literally just touch each other for their first time. Um, romantic partners with the steamy romance dynamic gravitate towards romantic socials with each other, especially physical intimacy. Would you describe the romance between Evan and Yunji as being steamy? Sure, why not? New personality trait. Evan is starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. Um, at heart, she might just be a true romantic. Embrace the change? I don't think so because I don't know how many spots I get. Um, she is feeling romantic, a romantic connection for Evan and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? Not right now. All right. Well, since she's feeling a romantic connection, I think that we should... Go ahead and do our first kiss. Physical intimacy. First kiss. She's feeling a romantic connection. Why not? Except we didn't do it. Let's try that one more time, game. Um, all right, so back to romance, physical intimacy, first kiss. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. Cute. Love this for Evan. All right, so that worked out perfectly. I wasn't expecting her to have like a romantic interaction like this soon after. Wait, what are we doing? What's happening? Evan has learned Yunji's woohoo interests. Die for thrills. You just met her like two hours ago. Are you serious right now? And she is running. She is very excited for this. I am, you know what? I'm gonna let it happen. 
we are on a short time frame because this is a mini series so if you want to woohoo in that dumpster with this really really pretty i can only assume designer dress on then you do you you know who am i to tell you not to woohoo in a dumpster with a woman that you just met today all right break out the candles make it romantic evan is about to woohoo for the first time in a dumpster so that is happening love that all right so we're gonna go ahead and scrap the movie it is now after midnight and we are being a freak in a dumpster with yunji who is i believe a generous sim so you know it's probably going pretty well It's taking a long time. I hope that no one has come back here. All right, so we are alone, but we are making an absolute mess. Oh, here comes someone. I think she works here though. Yeah, she works here or she's picking up all the trash that we, oh. Okay. Oh, not the twitchy leg. I cannot Sims. I have not noticed that before. All right, so. Yeah, get that nasty trash off of me. Um, I, I, are you trying to move? What is this? Okay, thankfully that was not what you were trying to do. All right, so we're going to say goodbye to Yunji. Let's do not a tender neck kiss because then they're probably going to try to woohoo again. Physical intimacy. Let's just embrace. Let's embrace goodbye. It seems like she was asking us to move in, but I didn't get to see anything, so I'm guessing not. All right. So now that conversation is over, what is happening? Are you joking? Is this... You cannot be serious right now. Okay, so these Sims are not capable of having any kind of physical intimacy without needing to immediately go and woohoo and they are doing that in front of this random stranger i am mortified i am so sorry ma'am so so sorry um we it's getting hot in here from having a steamy romance dynamic with a relationship this heated evan knows where this conversation is going obviously directly to the dumpster titillating banter that one is old that's from the drink we had ambrosial beverage drinks this good are what life is all about simply magnificent dirty flirty from woohoo in a dumpster this gives a whole new meaning to getting down and funky doesn't it um first kiss first woohoo um and then the friends being feeling fulfilled from being satisfied in a romantic relationship um, new friend that I'm now sleeping with in a dumpster, flying with no parachute. And um, totally digging me from exchanging numbers. Wonderful. Well, this has been an eventful evening. I can't touch you anymore because you don't... Oh, okay, well, you're leaving. That's wonderful because I need to leave as well. But thank you for not saying goodbye. All right, so we are now going to head home. It is 1.15 a.m., my goodness. And get ready for bed. All right, so we've made it back home and Evan is just getting ready for bed. She's already got on her pajamas and she's just brushing her teeth. It is now 1.45 a.m. She's not tired at all, but I do think that it makes sense for her to go to sleep because in the morning, which will probably happen um, off camera, we are probably going to spend all day tomorrow doing um, some baking so that we can stock our refrigerated shelves here. Um, so I will have her go ahead and come in here and let's get in the bed. Let's sleep until our alarm rings. So while she's doing that, I think that I will end this episode here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this challenge. If you are interested at all in seeing how everything plays out, um, if you've made it all the way to the end, do leave a leaf emoji in the comments that'll let me know who is watching all the way to the end of what seems to always be a ridiculously long video. I swear to y'all, I do not do that on purpose. 
Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for sure. Um, all of those things are super helpful in pushing my videos out into YouTube's algorithm. Um, and let me know if you have any other challenges or ideas that you would like me to try as I'm continuing to work on the channel. I'm still going to be doing Harper, of course, as well as the Rivera's and um, the Globetrotter challenge is going to be coming back as well. So if there's anything new that you want me to add, let me know. I did see that my favorite builder did a fully CC um, 100 baby challenge lot and I've always liked the idea of trying that out so let me know if y'all would like to see me try out the 100 baby challenge I would be interested in doing that as well now that I already have a home and would not have to worry about building or decorating one so that's all I have to say for now thank you all once again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye